In this video, we'll show you how to use the automated eRubrics within eRubric Assistant. In the guided tool, we have an example eRubric. In that eRubric, the first column lists the criteria. In this case, we've got five, and then the maximum marks or weighting associated with that criteria. The first row is the marking or the grading standards, F, D, C, B, and A. And then underneath that in the second row is the percentages associated with each of those. The body of the rubric consists of a performance standard or a, a performance description for each of those um, assessments. The first thing we'll do is show the e-rubric toolbar by pressing Alt F8. We'll move it over the side a bit. To make a, an assessment, you click in the cell corresponding to your assessment, click on the e-rubric tab, and then use these buttons here. To select the cell, just click the, uh, the tick button, and you'll see that that will color the cell, and then work out the appropriate mark and grade. We'll do another one. You'll see you can also use the function keys. So click in the cell and pressing F6. The mark is based on the percentage. So here where there's 10 maximum marks and I've selected a D grade, which is between 60 and 69. The halfway point of that is 60, 64.5%. So therefore the MAR 6.45. I can also decrease or increase the mark. So if I click in that cell and press F7, it will go up to a D+, which puts the mark up a bit, and then D++ for the top of the D range. And then if I press it again, it will go across to the C. And I can do that all the way up to the maximum mark if I want. You'll see some of the cells are in black. That means that that particular cell can't be uh, uh, selected. So if I click that, I will get a message. I will just fill in the rest of the criteria. You can see that you can change the assessment once you've done it. I'll just move this last one down to a fail assessment by clicking in the cell. Uh, and pressing F6 and it just you'll see that we can put in bonuses I'll put in uh, plus two here and then I can press F8 and the marks will be calculated in this case we've got 36.8 out of 46 it will be converted to a percentage then converted to a weighted score if this assessment was worth 20 marks and then convert it to a grade. You can store your rubrics as reusable comments and then insert them from the eMarking Assistant toolbar. I will just click in this blank line, click in the comment list of comments, type rubric and it will come up with uh, show a number of rubrics. I'm going to insert this one in the text, so highlight it and click text. And there we have the 